Hello dear friends, this is Mr. Kalunga. In this lesson, we want to look at this question coming from the 2023 GCE, paper one. It was question number one. Let's look at how you can answer such kind of questions. The question reads, evaluate three raised to the power two plus three raised to the power negative one times two to the power zero. Like I always say, the first thing that you need to do whenever you are given a question is to identify the topic from which the question is coming from. That will help you remember some concepts under that topic. What topic is this? The topic is index notation or indices. The stem of the question here is evaluate. What does that mean? Find the exact value. That's the meaning. Let's proceed. 3 to the power 2 plus 3 to the power negative 1 times 2 to the power 0. In this question, what have you observed? Well, we have different operations. By operations, I mean plus and multiplication. That should tell you that there is an application of somewhere. What does Bodmer say about these two? You need to multiply before you add. That's a rule. So you cannot add here before you multiply. First you need to multiply, then you get whatever answer you're going to get, you can now add it to this. That's a meaning. But before we can do that, we have to simplify them. Before we evaluate, we simplify them. Let's start. What is 3 to the power 2? Does this mean 3 times 2? According to the laws of indices? No. 3 raised to the power 2 means 3 times 3. It means 3 times 3. And what answer are we getting here? 9. So 3 to the power 2 is 9. You write like that. Plus 3 raised to the power negative 1. What does that mean? 3 to the power negative 1 means the negative on its own here means 1 over. Just the negative. 1 over. What has remained? 3 and a 1. 3 and a 1. And now 1 is positive, which is now the same as 1 over 3. So what we have here is 1 over 3, like that, times 2 to the power 0. The laws of indices says what? Any number or any letter raised to the power 0, the answer is what? Is 1. So whatever we have here is 1. We move on. 9, you cannot add before you multiply, plus... Let's now multiply this side. 1 over 3 times 1. What is the answer? Remember in paper 1, no calculator. So 1 over 3 times 1, anything you multiply by 1 is 1 over 3. That is what we are going to get. Now, at this point, I'm going to add without the calculator. I have a fraction here. So this is the whole number. You have to make it a fraction as well. So 9 as a fraction will give you 9 over 1, then plus 1 over 3. What next? How do we add fractions? Common denominator. What is common here? 3. How many ones are in 3? Three? 3. 3 times 9, what are we going to get? 27. Plus, how many 3's are in 3? 1 times 1, 1. Have you seen that? What is 27 plus 1? 28. So here I'll get 28. Over what? 3. You can leave it there. 
there's no problem, but it's better you leave it in mixed fraction. Mixed fraction. How many threes are in 28? You agree with me that there will be nine of them because it's 27 here, meaning the remainder will be one over three. This is the correct answer. So this was given two marks. Two marks, meaning your method mark here, method mark one, and your answer mark will be one. You get it. I hope you have learned. Thank you.